Hello and welcome to a new game from the CCC 11 qualification event. This is game 29, played between Dark Queen and Laser. Dark Queen is a relatively new neural network uh, trained on human online games, and it's using Lila's binary, Lila's engine, and is developed by Eric Hawkins. And in today's game, they play the King's Gambit accepted. They started with e4, e5, and after f4, black takes on f4. This is the king's gambit accepted. And we reach this position where black should be better, at least theoretically, because he not only won a pawn on f4, but white also weakened this king. So at least in theory, black is better, but the games in this opening are usually very, very tactical, very dynamic, and uh, they both can get chances. The game now continued with knight f3 and now usually in this position black plays g5 to defend this pawn and um, here white usually continues with h4 trying to weaken the f4 square and uh, of course black plays g4 here and then white can play knight e5 and attack this pawn twice and after something like d6 white usually takes here and uh, this is the main main line in this one however instead of g5 we have h5 first and probably the idea is that now after white plays d4 and attacks this pawn with the bishop and black plays g5 then after h4 and g4 knight e5 is is not so great anymore since the knight can take on g4 it's defended by the h pawn and uh, after d6 this knight has to come to d3 and then black can play f3 and the position is, is equal but instead of knight e5 in uh, in this uh, position white has a better move but first let's see what happens if instead of g4 black takes here on h4 well this would be a positional suicide here for black because now the bishop can take on an f4 and these pawns are very very weak now they can be just mopped up by white and white also has very strong center his pieces will come out very naturally with a very strong attack uh, this position would be winning here for for white so g takes on h4 is, is out of the question black plays usually g4 to attack this knight and as i mentioned knight e5 is not so great but white has another move knight g5 and this is what dark queen played in this game but isn't now black Trapping the knight with f6. Where is the knight going? There are no squares for the knight. But the dark queen is fine with this peace sacrifice in order to get chances against the black king. We have bishop takes on f4 and dark queen took back the pawn, but she gives up now the knight. We have bishop takes on g5 and now something has to block on e7 since the queen can't move. We have bishop e7 and now after queen d2 and uh, d6 we have knight c3 and now bishop e6 and now since uh, the c4 square is not available we have bishop d3 but the bishop stays very nicely on d3 white is threatening e5 at some point and then this bishop can um, give a check on g6 we have now bishop takes on g5 pawn takes and the game is equal despite white being down a piece and here laser played c6 a move that dark queen criticizes because it takes away the c6 square from the knight and dark queen really wants to play e5 here to open the e file and the d file and uh, if black now tries to to block it with d5 then there's no knight c6 to put pressure on d4 and white is better so that's why instead here in this position laser actually took on e5 but now instead of recapturing the pawn dark queen just long castled put her king into safety and uh, now the d and e file opens up and now the black king will find itself in the middle of a battlefield if in this position black takes on d4 then the e file opens up and the uh, rookie one is very strong here attacking this bishop and if this pawn takes on c3 then uh, bishop g6 is very strong because black loses the queen so taking on c3 not possible and after something like queen e7 bishop g6 check is still good and after king d8 queen takes on d4 and uh, white has pretty much a winning position here this king is stuck in the center and all of 
uh, wise pieces are uh, in a very good positions. If instead of e takes on d4, black takes with the queen, well then the d file is opened up. And this is not the better at all for the black king because now after rook f1, a lot of squares are taking away uh, potentially from the black king. And uh, white is already threatening knight e2 and then bishop g6 check, which would actually be mate. So taking on, on, the, on d4 is not so great for, um, for laser. So instead he played knight d7 and now we have bishop g6 check, king f8 and after d takes on e5 and king g7 we have bishop takes on h5 and dark queen took back one of the pawns. She has two pawns now for the invested pony and she also has the attack so everything looks great for white. We have queen a5 now getting out of this pin and now after queen d6 attacking the bishop we have queen e5 and usually in a position where your opponent's king is uh, out in the open you want to keep your queen for the attack but here the queen exchange looks tempting because after knight e5 and rook e1 it looks like black will lose a piece but that's actually not true because after bishop f7 uh, black counterattacks this bishop and if rook takes here then the other rook takes on h5 and uh, black wins so it's better to keep the queens on board and that's why we have queen d2 with the threat of rook e1 attacking the queen and also the bishop defending this knight if that bishop falls or has to move then the knight is in trouble and that's why stockfish recommends here rook d8 defending this knight but instead laser decided to to take the bishop on h5 and after rook takes on h5, the material advantage is almost balanced. Dark queen has rook and pawn versus bishop and knight. Very interesting. Now the game continued with rook e8 and we have rook e1 attacking the queen. Queen f5 and now rook h1 threatening g6 and then after queen takes rook f5 trapping the queen. So the king moves out of that but now we have g6 still. Queen takes rook g5, queen f7, and now knight e4, eyeing the d6 square. Rook e7, and now a4. Dark queen improves his position on the queen side and makes some luft for the king. We have b6, b3, and now after bishop d5, we have knight d6, queen e6, and now knight f5, attacking the rook. Queen f6 now, cheekily threatening uh, mate on a1 so we have king b1 and now after rook e6 the rook takes on, on g4 of course the queen can't take the knight because then again the queen gets trapped so instead we have knight e5 attacking the rook rook f4 and now dark queen threatens to move out the knight again trapping the queen so the queen moves out knight g3 check king g7 knight f5 check king g6 and now rook f1 defending the knight knight g4 queen b4 now threatening to to take the knight and again trap the queen knight back and now g4 and this knight on f5 looks very nice now we have rook f6 trying to take it here and now queen c3 and in this position if the knight takes on g4 then after queen g3 black is in trouble again this knight will be lost and uh, black has nothing better than to take here on f5 actually and give up the queen after which we have a very nice imbalance with queen versus bishop and two knights but they both have pawns and this queen will uh, go in and pick up the pawns and then promote one of her own so this would be winning for white instead of knight g4 though we have king h7 and now we have queen h3 king h8 rook f2 king h7 rook h2 bishop e6 and after queen f3 queen g6 king a2 rook f7 queen back to h3 finally the bishop takes out this knight we have pawn takes and now queen f6 of course this pawn cannot be taken because this knight is pinned by this rook we have rook e2 and after c5 the rook goes into e6 queen d4 Rook h1 now, threatening to take here. Rook f6, 
and after queen g2 again threatening rook e8 and taking this knight since uh, this one is pinned we have rook takes on e6 pawn takes on e6 and now c4 blazer is trying to open up the white king here we have b4 and now c3 and after king b3 we have a5 and in this position dark queen evaluates this as plus 2.3 now laser is threatening to take here with the queen but now after queen b7 check and king g6 dark queen can take on a5 and after the pawn recaptures she pushed now e7 and this forces laser to give up the knight otherwise he gets mated or loses even more material for example there's no time for for queen e5 trying to uh, prevent this pawn from promotion because after rook g1 and king f7 rook g7 is very very strong and no matter how black takes he loses if the king takes then of course white promotes with check from this queen on b7 and if the queen takes then again white promotes and after the king takes black loses the queen and then uh, this would be an easy win for white actually best for black instead of uh, taking the rook is to play king f6 but now after queen f3 white wins again because the king has to take here and after queen f8 check uh, white promotes to a new queen and wins so there's no time for uh, queen e5s the knight has to take but now dark queen can trade down into a winning queen and game with rook takes on h6 and then queen takes on e7 and in this position white can just target the spawn on c3 and win and if laser can't find a perpetual then uh, the c pawn will eventually promote so we have this check but after king takes on c3 can laser maybe find some perpetual well we have queen c6 check and king b3 and queen d5 check and we are actually in a table based position where uh, white wins so there's nothing much can happen here we have queen d4 queen e6 check king g5 queen c6 queen b4 check king a2 king f4 c3 queen b8 now queen c4 check king g3 queen d4 king h3 queen d5 queen h2 check king b3 queen e2 and really there's nothing black can do here white can uh, combine threats of exchanging the queen with pushing the pawn up the board and uh, they don't need, even need to calculate anymore they just need to follow the recommendations of uh, the table base and uh, white will eventually win this pawn is now very dangerous we have queen f4 check king g2 queen c4 queen e3 check king c2 queen f2 check king d1 and now very interestingly after queen g1 check and king d2 laser checked on f2 and it looks like that after queen e2 there will be a queen exchange since both queens are pinned and then white wins but here laser played king h1 very tricky move of course now if the queen takes queen then this would be a stalemate so this is not possible instead dark queen promoted the other pawn to a new queen but now laser can also give some some checks but eventually the checks will run out and here now actually after queen d1 uh, the queen exchange is unstoppable and now dark queen can use her queen to to win and she promotes the a pawn first and then mates with two queens a very very nice game by dark queen where she invested the knight she sacrificed the knight in the beginning to to get chances against the the black king very interesting game i would like to thank to rene adolf mark gary guilherme sebastian todor and radu for their contributions to my channel and uh, please subscribe help me get to a thousand like and share and check out some of the other videos on the right thanks for watching and see you soon bye bye